Hello and welcome to the weekly AI news on the AI with Arun show. This is the AI news that you cannot miss for the week ending October 5th, 2025. Let's get started. We start with a new arms race in AI infrastructure. The foundation of this revolution is compute power and September saw an unprecedented scramble for control over this critical infrastructure. This is where the biggest deals in tech are happening. Hitachi and Nvidia formed the Hitachi AI factory, an initiative supported by $1.1 billion of US infrastructure investment. This factory will use NVIDIA Blackwell GPUs and is partnered with OpenAI to create sustainable data centers. Meanwhile, the scale of cloud computing deal hits an all-time high with Meta Core V deal. This massive $14 billion agreement runs to 2031 and secures critical computing power for Meta's ambitions. It's one of the largest cloud deals ever announced. Finally, OpenAI is continuing its half trillion dollar target expansion project. They have added five new US data centers through partnerships with Oracle and SoftBank to fuel their next generation of models. The sheer scale of these investments show that the battle for AI dominance is now a race to build the biggest and the most efficient data centers. These massive data centers are fueling next generation models that are pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. Anthropic's cloud Sonnet 4.5 has made an extraordinary leap in autonomy. It can now perform autonomous coding for over 30 hours straight. It also topped the SWE Bench leaderboard, achieving a 61.4% score on the challenging Oswald benchmark. This is not just a coding assistant, it is an autonomous software engineer. Google DeepMind unveiled its dual model approach to robotics. The new Gemini Robotics ER 1.5 handles the high level planning. The Gemini Robotics 1.5 manages the execution. Both models are now accessible through the Gemini API, bringing advanced robotic control to developers. In the multimodal space, Alibaba launched the Pen3 Max. This is a massive model with over one trillion parameters complemented by the open source Pen3 Omni for real-time multimodal applications. It's a clear signal that the future of AI is not just text-based. It's sight, it is sound and language all at once. That's why it is multimodal. The advances in AI models are translating directly into the physical world, sparkling a robotics revolution. Ubitech is dramatically expanding its capacity, securing a $1 billion credit line for humanoid robot production. Their plan includes building a super factory and establishing a Middle East headquarters. The UK also made its mark with the company unveiling the HMND-01 Alpha, a dual-armed mobile manipulator developed in just seven months for the manufacturing sector. As AI capabilities grow, so does the urgency for a global AI governance framework. Nations and international bodies are stepping up to regulate this powerful technology. The UN has made a global call urging for international regulations to ensure AI development benefits all of humanity, focusing on inclusive and sustainable development. In Europe, multiple consultations for the EU AI Act has been launched. Significantly, Italy became the first to adopt comprehensive national AI legislation with law number 132. India is also moving forward with a comprehensive governance framework following over 3,000 public consultations to balance innovation with citizen safety. Specific regional laws are also coming into force to govern AI safety. On September 29th, California Governor Gavin Newsom signed an SB 53, enacting the strongest AI safety rules in the nation. Meanwhile, China implemented a mandatory labeling law on September 1st, which requires visible labels for all synthetic media and chatbots. The world is actively moving past if we should regulate AI and is now focused on how to regulate AI. This regulatory growth, however, has not slowed the flow of capital. This month, the past month, September, was also a funding frenzy. Anthropic secured $13 billion in funding, reaching a stunning valuation of $183 billion. And Databricks raised $1 billion, pushing its valuation to $100 billion. Even specialized AI chip companies like Grok raised $750 million and is now valued at $6.9 billion. Now, the biggest story here is the meteoric rise of OpenAI. OpenAI's valuation reached a record $500 billion after employee shares sales, making it the most valuable startup globally and surpassing Elon Musk's XAI. 
It now serves a massive user base of over 700 million weekly active users worldwide. Now, key trend emerging globally is regional AI sovereignty initiatives. Nations are building their own models to ensure cultural and linguistic relevance. The EU launched Child Open LLM, a 30 billion parameter model trained on the Euro HPC Lumi supercomputer. It supports all 24 official EU languages plus Ukrainian and Norwegian. In Latin America, LATAM GPT was announced. This project involves 12 countries collaborating on the first regional AI model tailored for Latin America's diverse languages and cultures. The Middle East and Africa are also seeing significant expansion. The Lebanon Tech Ministry appointed its first Ministry of Technology and AI. The Middle East and Africa are also seeing significant expansion. The Lebanon Tech Ministry appointed its first Minister of Technology and AI. The UAE and OpenAI had a high-level meeting on September 27th between President Sheikh Mohammed and Sam Hartman to discuss AI collaboration. And finally, Strive Las Sevilla announced Africa's first network of NVIDIA GPU-powered AI factories set to be built by 2026. The reality of enterprise AI adoption is clear. The technology is no longer niche. According to Google's 2025 DORA report, 90% of workers are now using AI. However, only 30% have low trust in AI generated. This low trust indicates that while adoption is high, quality assurance and verification remain key challenges. In a landmark announcement, JP Morgan Chase plans to become the world's first fully AI powered mega bank, implementing AI across all operations. Finally, we are seeing emerging AI applications change industries. Eleven Labs Music has launched the first AI music generator to be cleared for commercial use expanding the business beyond the popular voice tools. In finance, HSBC quantum trading demonstrated the world's first quantum-enabled algorithm trading system utilizing IBM processors, and the integration of AI into trade was highlighted at the Hangzhou Digital Expo, showcasing 102 outcomes, including new standards for global digital trade. To summarize, the past week has been a pivotal moment in AI history. We saw global collaboration with nations establishing governance frameworks while still fostering innovation. We witnessed an enterprise integration as AI moved from an experiment to a mission-critical tool for business. And we experienced technological breakthroughs with models achieving unprecedented capabilities in coding, in robotics, and multimodal tasks. With that, we come to the end of the show. Support our work by joining us as a member. All you have to do is go to the description. And please like, share, and subscribe.